I moved to Berlin in about 2010 and started working in coffee uh, for Bonanza Coffee Roasters. Uh, I've been there, had coffee roaster for about uh, four years. After that I did a project with Man vs Machine and uh, I've been with the visit for about a year now. As a kid I used to make coffee for my parents uh, just on a Melita um, uh, pour over. Uh, so I always liked coffee but then as I grew older I wondered why sometimes you have a cup of coffee that tastes amazing and sometimes a cup of coffee that tastes horrible. So. Um, uh, I started doing a little bit of research on internet and that grew into a, uh, let's say, a, a hobby at first. Uh, but the hobby became more uh, a passion and um, then in 2010 I decided to, uh, to move to Berlin and to focus on, uh, uh, on a career in coffee. I liked Berlin as a city. I mean, uh, back in the days there was only one or two shops in Berlin that did a really great job in terms of coffee. The first time that I tasted the coffee that was uh, really different from anything else that I ever tasted before uh, was a natural Jägerchef um, on a filter. I was truly blown away with the fact that that is also flavors that you can find in coffee. The Visit Coffee Roastery is one of the youngest uh, specialty coffee roasteries in Berlin. Shops uh, in every different corner of the city Every shop has its own character, uh, very well fitted to the neighborhood uh, where the shop is. Uh, my aim as a coffee roaster is to bring specialty coffee to a broader audience. So I would very much like for everybody to be able to enjoy specialty coffee without any efforts. Uh, I think drinking a cup of coffee is uh, it's like a five minute luxury you can have in a day and it should, be, it should be a pleasure, it should be something to enjoy. And I think as soon as it becomes too educational or too forced or aimed towards a certain group of people, uh, then I think it completely misses its goal. So my aim as a coffee roaster is to reach everybody with amazing coffee. Rwandan coffees, uh, I have a little bit of experience roasting them in the uh, in the past uh, with good and with bad results. Uh, as we all know, the uh, Rwanda coffee suffer from a defect that's called a potato defect. And um, this causes coffees to taste like raw vegetables or potato. That said, uh, this coffee is really outstanding. It's scored really high. It's, um, it's very clean, it's very sweet. Uh, it has a nice hint of fruit and um, yeah we use it for both filter and for espresso uh, it's a very versatile coffee uh, and I'm sure that people bring it at home will understand why so the Gataba uh, uh, Romera shade grown coffee uh, is a very rich and very uh, complex uh, layered cup um, it has notes of uh, papaya and caramel um, what I like about this coffee is the fact that it is very versatile and it is very complex. Hi, I'm Lee, I'm head barista at the Vigic Coffee Roastery. <laughs> Today I will brew our beautiful Rwanda Gataba on Kalita Way filter. Our recipe is 15 grams of coffee and 240 grams of water. And then at the end, we will get around 200 grams of filtered coffee. So let's start it. First, I will rinse the filter carefully. And then I will pour coffee inside and make flat. Uh, first, I will pour 40 grams of Water inside for pre-infusion over 30 seconds. And then stir gently to make all the coffee wet. And then I will pour rest of 200 grams of water over three pours and in two minutes. You just can like make small circles inside
Yeah, I finished the brewing. Uh, to finish it, it takes like in three minutes, three, three, 30 seconds. We will get super juicy coffee. <laughs> the flavor of this coffee you will get around like mm, super sweet, like papaya, caramel, and very well ripe berries, like red berries. Yeah, that's it. I'm dying. <laughs>